So we saw an overview of the mobile emissions inventory process, how to calculate for the emissions for a given area, where we also saw how to conduct a vehicle flow analysis using Google Maps. It's good to know that we can get historical traffic data by just using Google Maps. For the results, it's interesting that despite being composed mostly of residential areas, Barangay Ugong still has the highest level of emissions, which is mainly due to the number of significant roads and also perhaps because of the number of vehicles that are owned by people living in those areas. For Pinagbuhatan, it has a it has specific emissions due to the high number of tricycles. For the information of the others, Barangay Pinagbuhatan is the densest barangay in Pasig, and only tricycles are the form of public transport in the area. So this shows the need to shift to higher capacity vehicles for public transport that are also more sustainable. And then we also saw how carbon dioxide is the major source of pollution in Pasig. This just highlights the importance of pushing for more sustainable forms of transport, such as walking, cycling, and as well as shifting to e-mobility.